today, let's take the mystery away from these mystical creations and finally learn how to make a gorgeous inlay cup bracelet of our very own. From humble strips of triangle wire and sterling plate, you'll torch, file, and forge it into a sleek inlay cup bracelet that will then inlay with some beautiful stones of your choosing. When I say that absolutely nothing is left out of this online course, I mean it. I mean, I'm just not good at keeping secrets like that. So what you're going to get is a step-by-step -step insight into my processes, and I share everything I do with you with the goal that you can easily do this on your own without any hangups. I mean, the video is like almost a combined two hours of content of me delving into every little detail of things, so I know you're going to get a lot out of it. You can find the link to my course in the description below and pop on over there, but right now I want to delve in a little bit more of what's all included in that course now. This particular inlay cuff course covers how to make a flush cut inlay cuff like this, where all the stones are cut at the same time. I won't be covering how to do a cobblestone inlay cuff like this one here, but if there's enough interest in that course too, and just kind of like leave me a comment below would help me gauge the interest level on that, then that might be one that I will be adding to my course list in the future. The bulk of the video will cover how to do a single stone inlay with sterling silver banding between each stone since that's the easiest to do, mostly because the stones are kind of cut at even rate when you're working on it. But because I can't help myself, I also included a bonus video on how to work with multiple stones of slightly varying hardnesses like this cuff here since it can provide some unique undercutting challenges as you work. Even if you're a lapidary with no silver smithing experience, you could get something like this stainless steel cuff core that are actually made for wood turning cuffs since you can see how it kind of screws off like this to accommodate a solid wood turn piece. But you could easily use it for this project as well by running some epoxy in that screw seam before inlaying. I know this has been a long awaited video and I thank you guys for your patience in working with me uh, so I could make sure that this video is just as thorough as y'all expect from my tutorials. But as those of you who have already emailed or messaged me in the past before, you guys know that I'm more than happy to help you out with any little questions that you have. So feel free to contact me in any way that works best for you. Or if you need a little bit more one-on-one -on -one guidance, we can schedule a video chat so you can really get a little bit more tailored troubleshooting help with your project. Just like with my inlay bail course, this course is best suited for someone who has some experience in both lapidary and silversmithing. And it's a perk if you're good at working independently. For silversmithing skills, just your basic sawing, drilling, filing, and the like is recommended since you don't need to be babied through those steps. And the same goes for lapidary. I'd say be proficient in making cabs, even better if you've worked on some calibrated cabs. And I really did geek out over my materials list just to make sure it's super thorough and you wouldn't have to spend like weeks trying to figure out what tools I'm using. I'd say just watch all the videos first, make a list of what tools and materials you need, which ones you don't, since some are optional depending on how you want to make your cuff. In the link below, I'll have more information on what's all included in this course, but really I just wanted to make an accessible course for all of my lapidary jeweler friends since not everyone has the opportunity to fly out to Ghost Ranch or to William Holland or a similar type of program for a week-long course that teaches this kind of inlay cuff bracelet. Even if you have taken an inlay cuff course before, I have a really good feeling you'll still get a whole lot out of this course since not only do I show many different ways of doing something, but I also go into an almost absurd amount of detail explaining how to cut the stones so that they fit really well in your inlay cuff channel. If you have any lingering questions about the class, feel free to shoot me a comment here or you can always just email me using my website contact form. But as I always reiterate in all my videos, I just want to see you succeed and make some just incredible inlay jewelry. And it always excites me when you email me pictures of your beautiful creations. With that, I'll see you over in my inlay course and happy cabbing y'all.